Races to watch as Maryland enters a time when political frontrunners will go head to head now for several open elected positions in the state, and one of those positions being the seat of Attorney General. Rachel Cardin breaks down the race, sure to heat up between the two established Democratic nominees. No matter who wins the Democratic nomination, if either wins the actual seat, history will be made. Either the first female attorney general in the state of Maryland or the first African American to serve in that position. The position of attorney general is up for grabs in Maryland. What's great for Democratic voters is there are two candidates um, that are really qualified and they're going to get to right now, um, unless somebody else gets in the race. To pick and choose between these two, and both of them have historic candidacies. Katie Curran O'Malley is a retired Baltimore District Court judge, but also former First Lady of Maryland when her husband, Martin O'Malley, was governor. Add those credentials to being the daughter of the longest serving attorney general in the state, Joe Curran. People need an attorney general that's going to stand up for them, fight for them, and pursue justice for them every single day. And that's why I want to be Maryland's next attorney general. Political expert Malia Cromer says if she wins, she will be part of a father daughter duo that has not been seen before in the state. Running against her, her husband's former lieutenant governor, current U.S. congressman, and Army veteran Anthony Brown. I'll work for you. I'll investigate problems, I'll champion legislative changes, and I'll set enforcement priorities that are consistent with yours. Brown currently represents the 4th District, much of Prince George's, and parts of Anne Arundel County. He's a progressive lawmaker who's a veteran who has then advocated, especially during the Trump years, for the rights of transgender military um, service members. Republican Jim Shalek is also running for the open seat. There's an epidemic of crime in Maryland. And I'm a prosecutor, and I want to use the powers of the Attorney General's office to fight crime. For this political season, the seats for Attorney General, Governor, and Comptroller are in the hands of Maryland voters. Goucher College will put out a poll in March, giving more information about the two candidates. We will know who wins the Democratic nomination by June before the official vote in November determines who wins the seat of Attorney General. In Baltimore, I'm Rachel Cardin for WJZ.